Folks, as, as Grand Commander, I've had the opportunity to travel throughout the land and overseas frequently and have met many, many, many people that are Scottish Rite Masons. We have learned that we always meet on the level and such as we are as Master Masons. And that is certainly true with respect to our brother, illustrious Ernest Borgnine. As you know, more importantly, Ernie stands for that which the Scottish Rite represents. The one on that beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, Masonic temple that we had on Wiltshire Boulevard. And um, they said, we're going to bring in John Wayne. I said, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly somebody approached me and said, we want you for the part of Al Capone. And we're going to give you $500,000. Boy, sounds pretty good, but I won't do it. Why? What's the matter? Well, why won't you do it? I said, sir, I'll tell you. To me, I was brought up to hate, not hate, but I didn't like Al Capone. He was a bad creature. He was a bad man. And I said he was used to frighten me as a child. Why should I play another Al Capone to frighten other children? But the thing that got me the most was the fact that some 16-year-old with his feet up on somebody else's chair in a movie theater looking up there at Al Capone saying, what the hell, if he can get away with that, so can I. I said, I won't do it. I don't want to set an example for young people to say, gee, if he can do it, so can I. That's wrong. So I'm a half a million dollar less, but I can sleep at night. You know, I, I can watch TV at my house now, and one of Ernie's films comes on. And I can say to my wife, and I don't mean it like name dropping, but I can say, there's Brother Ernie. He's my friend. He's my brother in masonry.